at a shik a do shidene she a janel t sin she there's two new slow now k bash is chain kia on is that's a shay i don't know k now k a dash another jada between that now sha i thought at the shanao k miss nez a spot inch cup put out the net and sun and shlim please stand if you are able and put your right hand over your heart for the Pledge of Allegiance in Navajo. At 11 a.m. on November 11, 1918, the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month, fighting World War I ceased. This day became formally known as Armistic Day. The word armist armistice means an agreement to stop fighting. Fitting at at the time World War One was thought to be the war to end all wars. Sadly our world continues to fight this since that momentous day in nineteen eighteen. In nineteen fifty four Armistice Day was renamed as Veterans Day. When Francis Scott Key wrote the Star Spangled Banner almost two hundred years ago, he called America the land of the free and the home of the brave. Those words are as true to, to as true today as they were then. Throughout this his, this nation's history, American soldiers, sailors, airmen, marines, and coast guards have bravely answered the call to defend our freedom, to aid our friend and allies, and to turn back aggressors. We can never fully repay our debt of gratitude. More than six hundred fifty thousand American service members who died in battle, or the one point four million who were wounded. We can, however, recognize the and thank the two, 25 million veterans still living today. These words are inscribed on a Korean War memorial in Washington, D.C. Our nation honors her sons and daughters who answered the call to defend a country they never knew and a people they never met. Those words apply equally to many of our World War I, World War II, Vietnam War, and Gulf War veterans as well. They apply to today's active duty service members, tomorrow's veterans who are helping to maintain peace throughout the world. Today is our privilege to say to thank you to all America's veterans to let them know that we appreciate them for their service and honor them for their sacrifices. The price of freedom is high. We cannot afford those willing, those willing to pay it. Today we celebrate America's veterans for keeping this nation the land of the free and the home of the brave. Please join us in a moment of silence following 
the plane of caps for those who have given the greatest sacrifice for our freedom. Uh, yeah, and thank you. So thank you for joining us today. And students, let's show our appreciation to all our veterans with a big thank you, veterans. Thank you, veterans. Thank you so much for joining us today, and we hope you have a wonderful Veterans Day tomorrow.